jumbies are not good. <laughs> They're not good creatures for the most part. Or at least this is how it was explained to me or told to me, the stories that were told to me. Jumbies are creatures who will eat you, given half the chance to eat you. And so growing up, you had to know all the different ways that you could protect yourself from a jumbie so that you wouldn't get dragged off. Of course, we know what that's about. As adults, you tell these stories to children so that they stay where they're supposed to stay. You know, that's really the whole purpose behind them. But of course, as a little kid, you're thinking your eyes are giant. You know, you're looking around. You're like ready with all of your, you know, various accoutrements to make sure that, you know, no jumbie gets you tonight. You know, and I was fairly certain that um, there were people in my life who I really thought were jumbies. Miss Evelyn, who lived next door to my grandmother, I was sure she was a sukuya. I mean, I, and I still, you know, I'm fairly certain that she was, <laughs> actually. So there's all of these different kinds of creatures. And so jumbies are sort of a catch-all name for a bunch of different creatures. They're sukuya, lagahu, duen, uh, Laja Bless, there's Papa Bois, there's Mama Chlo. Um, so, and, and those are just the ones that we talk about mostly in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, throughout the Caribbean and in South America, there are other types of jumbies. They may not be called jumbies, they might be called duppies, they might be called other things, but they're all part of the same type of story. And they are all fairly menacing. Um, some to less degrees than others. Some are helpful. I actually recently found out that some of the ones that uh, they talk about in Haiti are really quite benevolent. That's not my experience. As far as I know, they're just gonna eat you. There's a whole bunch of different ones and they all have different things that they do. They all have different physical features and they all have different ways um, that they can be repelled if you need to repel one. And so growing up, I needed to know all of the ways because one never knew who was a jumbie. I mean, it literally could be that guy on the street there. I don't know. People did sort of just tell stories. People obviously told jumbie stories as I was growing up and they would just talk about jumbies as if it could literally be anybody, anybody like walking down the street or whoever my uncles were dating. You know, my mom used to tease my uncles about whether or not they were dating jumbies. 